Marvel Studios just brought back X-Men with X-Men 97, a sequel to the popular and very influential X-Men the Animated Series. Well, the first two episodes are out and the review scores are in and Rotten Tomatoes has aggregated them and it's a perfect 100. <laughs> Okay, let's address the basics. Yes, it's based on the first two episodes. Yes, it is Rotten Tomatoes as an aggregate. No, Rotten Tomatoes is not a singular person. Yes, review scores don't ultimately matter because they depend on you and your opinion. Somebody can say that the new Ghostbusters movie is god-awful, one of the worst things ever, and give it a 4 out of 10. Somebody is going to find it to be the greatest film of the last decade and give it a 10 out of 10. It's just how it goes. This ultimately means nothing, but it's a consensus. Now that I got all that out of the way, so people hopefully understand what we're talking about here, across the board, opinions are in, and X-Men 97 delivers. Two episodes have been reviewed, and critics across the board are saying that this is the exact X-Men that they wanted. That it's perfect. Now, before there's 17 paragraphs down below in regards to how it's not perfect, no, it's not perfect, okay? Things could always get better. There's a couple things missing with animation. But where it counts with the storytelling and everything, everybody's saying this is the exact story you want. This is the X-Men back, and we are here for it. So there we go. Um, honestly, I talked about the two episodes. I think it's tremendous. Rewatching them a second time was even better because you get to pick up on little subtle things. Easter eggs, more Easter eggs. Uh, just the bigger thing that's going on here and sort of how it's spelled out, but also some of the hidden stuff behind, you know, some of the more obvious things that are, like, front-facing you in the series. I absolutely loved it. Clearly, the critics love it. A 100 for Marvel Studios with this is gotta be a big boost. Um, you know, we're constantly in that Marvel is dead, Marvel is back, Marvel is dead, Marvel is back. Marvel is dead. Well, Marvel is back with this one, I guess. And depending on what you thought of Echo, this might be two victories in a row. And honestly, seeing how they're handling the X-Men and the mutants here is giving a lot of people hope from what I've seen for Deadpool 3. So let's hope that they can stick the landing with that one because if this is what they're doing with the animated series of X-Men, I can only imagine that the films are going to be tremendous and finally understand the X-Men.